In this video, I will show you how to manually enter the data into Jamovi and how to generate descriptive statistics and the respective visualization of the data. Before we move on, I assume that you all installed the program on your computers already. And if you haven't done so, uh, you may want to stop here and make sure that you install the program first. So briefly, you go to jammovie.org and click download here, right? And it'll automatically detect um, your operating system. So for me, it is Windows and you just click to download the um, current version. And once you save the file to the respective um, folder, it's downloading. Well, um, so once the download is finished, then you can just double click the file follow all the default options to uh, install the program. And once you finish installation, then you can just open the program. So once you open the uh, Jamovi, then um, the program should look like this, right? Um, so let's just... Um, Right, um, so this looks like a kind of a spreadsheet, right? Um, by default, it'll open some, uh, you know, three variables for you. So like any other statistical software, the row represents individual data and column represents different variables, right? And whatever analysis, so here we have um, the uh, analysis menu, like exploration, t-test, ANOVA, regression, frequencies, and factor. So whatever analysis you do on whatever data you have here, then the result will be shown in this right window pane uh, in real time. So um, let's just um, manually type in the data, so this is going to be the age of mice uh, from the lecture. So we'll just type in manually to see um, you know, what it looks like. So that's Okay, so this is uh, the age of mice uh, from the lecture. And we want to actually change the name of the variable um, to uh, make it more meaningful to us instead of saying A. So if you double click on the column heading right here, then you can actually edit the, the variable. So we will say age of mice and in bracket the unit of the age and here um, you actually have to assign the um, the correct measurement type so this is the level of measurement we're talking about right so um, you know from the lecture you probably learned that there are four different types uh, four different levels of measurement nominal ordinal interval and ratio so if you just click this arrow, down arrow, then it'll actually show you different levels of measurement, nominal, 
and then each level has different icons uh, right next to it and next level is ordinal and in Jamovi interval and ratio are considered just the one continuous variable and the age is in fact uh, the ratio level of measurement so we can just assign continuous um, level of measurement to this variable and the data type integer right um, and we do not have any missing value so that's it and you can see that the icon of the variable now changed from these three circles right so um let's just uh, run some uh exploratory data analysis and uh, as you can figure out the exploration will be um you know running the exploratory data analysis by um running some descriptives so just click on descriptives and there are you know a number of different options so statistics can um, see you know all the other details uh, in terms of statistics and plots you can generate and so before we move so if you want to run descriptive then you have to move the respective variables to this right um, you know window but before we do that we want to choose what kind of statistics we want to generate or plots so n is the number of sample the sample size and missing we do not have any missing um, data so we're going to untick it and the central tendency measure mean median are the default and um, descriptive statistics that jamovi will generate for you so if you don't choose um, any uh, other options but let's just say that we want to see the mode too and the percentile values so if you take this cut points for four equal groups then it will give you the quartiles basically right so 25th 50th and 75th right um, you can change um, you know how many number of equal groups you want to have and or you can do the percentiles and by default it is actually giving you the quartiles so it's the same thing so I'll just uh, leave it unticked. Um, so the dispersion statistics, uh, the measures of dispersion, there are a number of um, dispersion statistics you can calculate, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, variance. You know, the variance is not really needed if you know the standard deviation, right? Um, you can calculate the standard deviation. I mean, the you know variance from the standard deviation by square the standard deviation and if you you know subtract these extreme uh, extreme values each other then you're going to get range um iqr and if you know the quartiles then you can also calculate the iqr automatically by knowing the 75th percentile and 25th percentile but we're going to just tick this so um these are the statistics and uh, visualization we want to have for the age of mice so let's just move the variable then as you can see um you can see the result right away so this table is a summary of all the descriptive statistics we ask uh, Jamovi to generate so the number of samples has 22 and mean age is a 40 45 weeks and median is the same mode is a bit different 49 and standard deviation is 12.9 weeks iqr is 16.8 which is difference between 25th percentile and 75th percentile and you can see that you know, it's a bit off right uh, it's supposed to be um, 16.7 i believe right but um that is just a rounding rounding error so if you actually increase the um the significance digits and decimal places to say five points then now you can see that the iqr actually matches the difference between 
uh, Q1 and Q3. And the range is the difference between the maximum and minimum, which is 48. That's all right. Um, this is the histogram of the variable age of mice. And you see that, um, unfortunately, you can't really change uh, the bin width um, so that the, the interval of the histogram. So um, you see that there's kind of a, um, empty spots, which is not really ideal to draw a histogram. So to close these gaps, you want to, you can actually increase the bin size, right? The bin width. Uh, but um, there's really no option for you to do that. But, um, you know, overall, the distribution looks more or less, you know, symmetric around here, which you should be close to the mean. What was that? That was, okay, 45. And this is the box plot. See, the y-axis represents the age of mice, and this is Q1, Q3, and this um, horizontal band represents the median, right, in the box. And this square dot represents the mean of this variable. So this is how you generate uh, the descriptive statistics as well as um, the respective visualization. Now let's go back to data and let's just add another column called six. Um, so this is just a you know hypothetical. We didn't do this in the lecture, but just uh, for the sake of the illustration, we're going to just add this column to indicate the sex of the mouse. So for the first eleven, let's say one represents female, and two. represents male and again we want to change the name of the variable to something meaningful which is sex and now the level of measurement is nominal right because you know male and female they're just the names right um it's not even ordinal right unless you're sexist and i mean there's really no way you can actually order um you know this male and female right and no category is better than the other uh, whatsoever and you can actually change so that it was female and to be assigned that was just the arbitrary numbers right so we can just change at each level to the actual sex so one was female male and two was male and that way, it'll actually change um, the um, the values into uh, the corresponding sexes. Um, so now that we have uh, the sex column, and let's just run the descriptive statistics again to see um, how the statistics change by each sex. Now. In this, uh, in this case, we're going to just uh, take the frequency tables to see uh, how many cases included in each sex. So, maybe medium mode, cut points, um, range, IQR, and histogram, box plot, mean, um, and so on. In fact, if you take the uh, violin, then it'll actually show. Uh, um, the overall distribution, shape of the overall distribution on the box plot. And if you take the data, then it'll also uh, place each individual datum on top of the box plot. And um, so with the a small number of data set, the violent plot is not really useful, but let's just uh, you know, take all these boxes to see what it looks like. And jittered, stacked. So, because sometimes you have um, no, this is adding the random jitter on the horizontal axis. That's what it is. 
to uh, facilitate um, the visualization of the data. So if you don't do this, then the data will be just uh, lined up on a single vertical line, uh, which doesn't really look good, in fact. <clears throat> And so let's just move the variable, right? And we will split this variable by sex. So we're going to move the sex variable to here, split by, right? So now we have um, the proper frequency table. So N, the number of data set in each sex, the female is 11, male is 11, and the mean of the male is 48 weeks. Uh, the mean of the um, male is 41 weeks. So, um, you know, females are slightly older than males. Um, the median and the mode, standard deviation, IQR, and so on. So we have, um, you know, all the statistics arranged by sex, right? So if you care about the uh, kind of a sex difference, then you can do this. You can you can split the data by um, some other variable, other characteristic of the data, right? And you, we see this a histogram. So this is a histogram by sex. So at the top one, the blue one is female, and down here the yellow one is uh, the male one. So this is the um, box plot with mean, and these are like. Um, you know, overall shape of the distribution, right, of the female and the male. So that is violin plot. It looks like a violin, isn't it? And then you can see that these gray dots are uh, sprinkled over um, the box plot, right? So the vertical location of each dot represents the actual uh, data. So this data is about here, 34. Okay, so that's 34 weeks, and it's probably like a 32, uh, 32 or 33, and so on. And these difference in kind of a horizontal location of each dot doesn't really mean anything, right? As I said, um, they are just a random jitter, right? Random jitter by Jamovi um, to facilitate the reading of each data. So if you don't um, add this random jitter in horizontal axis, then it'll just line up on a single vertical line, and um, which doesn't really look good. And again, the, the square, the this square dot represents uh, the mean of each group. 